Let's dance in the city tonight. Oh, come on, baby. Let's dance in the city tonight. Let's go dance. Tonight. Never stop. And tomorrow. crafters welcome back to my show today we're going to make park bench first let's make the pattern yes you have to draw it yourself just follow what I'm doing so I'm using millimeter blocks so it's in centimeters I hope you can convert it into inch easily if you need it well because it's not common to use inch as measurement in my country we use centimeters meters kilometers like that so it's unlike in the US they use inch feet miles and I wonder how is it in your country so everything you can find in stationery stores in my country is in centimeters just like this millimeter blocks oh look we're done while talking so this is it the basic measurement now let's draw the curvy shape Basically, you can draw anything you like. It's just make it reasonable enough to be a cardboard piece. You know, it's not so easy to cut a cardboard piece, especially the curvy shape. So just don't make it difficult to yourself. So here it is, my pattern. I hope you're doing better and it doesn't have to be the same and trace it to the cardboard. So I'm tracing it on the smooth side of the cardboard. I'm calling it the good side. So make it double and rotate your cardboard like this. Flip the pattern and trace it into another two because cardboard has two different kind of sides, the good side and the bad side, just like personality. I'm going to cross two different direction of cardboard texture to create a stronger structure. So this good side will be the only side that's shown in my pieces like this. I'm going to glue them together by crossing two different texture direction like this. But before I'm going to show you how to cut this curvy shape cardboard. You can use whether a small cutter or an exacto knife like this. So hold it just like holding a pen. Just follow the curve carefully. For the easy parts, I can still use the regular cutter like this and for the curvier part I'm using the exacto knife cut it carefully don't need to be in a rush and I'm sure you can do it and here they are this is the good side this is where I'm going to put the glue on it's on the side with the crossing texture so let's do it I'm using white glue and a brush so I can easily spread the glue Make sure every part stick together perfectly. And here's my two pieces. That will be the main structure of the bench. And then make a simple ruler like this using any kind of paper. I'm gonna mark where I will put the seat on. So, the seat will be underneath this line. Now let's continue to the next pieces. Cut these 10 pieces and separate it into two groups. Each group has two different texture direction like this. Pair them and glue them together like this. We're going to make these long and tiny pieces into a strong structure. Like this. So, I mark one group using a marker just to make it easier to pair them. And we need to cover the ugly texture of the cardboard using any kind of thin paper. Just like this. Don't be afraid to use too much glue because it's going to dry anyway. And don't forget about 
this part. Of course, this part also needs to be pretty with the covering. Doing the curvy shape is a little bit trickier, just a little bit. It's not so easy to make it perfect, but it's okay. Just fill the gap between the papers using another white glue and just wait for it to dry. All the pieces almost done. This is the result after all the glue gets dry. But we need one more last piece. So make this pattern. The size is about like this. And this size doesn't have to be the same as mine. Draw a little curve like this. Cut it. And we're having the last pattern we need. Just like before, make this piece. And now we're ready to put them all together. But before, we need to mark where we will put the board on. Just create an arrangement. Match it to the measurement of each board. It's 2 centimeters. And let's do it. So, you can use whether white glue or hot glue, but I'm choosing white glue. It does need a little time to dry, unlike hot glue. You need to hold it just a little longer. But the good thing about white glue is, I still have enough time to move it when I misplace a piece. So, so fragile. Well, it is, but it won't be when it gets dry. All you need is a little patience. This seat structure is not strong enough even when the glue gets dry. We need to add a little something. Make this. Just like the previous pieces, make this by stacking two pieces of cardboard. And we're going to put them right here. structure is strong enough but still I'm adding a little something to secure the joints just use any kind of paper and white glue and it's done but if you'd like to make a simpler bench you can use this design ah, I can see you're smiling seeing this yes this one is much simpler the joints are strong enough even without additional paper and here's the bottom structure let's check on both seat structure strong enough several barbies can sit on it safely and i'm having two different character of benches this one is suitable for a park bench in public area while this one is perfect to be a porch bench in a house maybe you can add some cushions on it so which one do you prefer between these two but it's so not done yet let's go decorating on the first one, I'm going to use silicone mold and hot glue to create some texture. You can find the silicone mold at art supply store or baking store. So, the result is not gonna be so perfect, so just trim it using a tiny scissors. bench using another hot glue. As usual, of course you can make your own design. And then I painted brown using acrylic paint. 
just one layer of paint. And for the carving part, I'm gonna paint it into gold. But maybe you can try silver or maybe black. I don't know. What other color do you think suitable? So, I also put only one layer of paint on this one. I want it to look unperfect. So, one layer of paint creates an illusion that it has texture. So I hope it looks much enough like wooden boards. So, what do you think? Let's continue to the next design. For the next idea, I'm using white paint, only one layer of it. And then let's do the second layer of paint. I'm using blue, but a very very fair amount of it. I'm trying to make a shabby chic style painting. And here it is. For the decoration, we're going to use the decoupage technique. You can print any image you like on a thin paper, or maybe you can draw it yourself just like what I'm doing right here. Which one do you like? The park bench or the porch bench? And now you can explore the design. I'm sure you're having so many ideas to make it look different. And totally you. Hmm. I really think to put some cushions on it to make it into an interior furniture. What do you think? Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the show, don't forget to leave your comment down below, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in my other show. Bye!